Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I want to show you Hyper AI. This is a free tool. It's free as of March 22, 2024. They may change that in the future. Free AI tool that allows you to create video from text or from an image. You can animate images. A lot of different things, completely free. Let's go. First step here, you'll see here I'm on the website. Links in the description below. Let's go. Try for free. When you do that, I'm logging in directly if you haven't, because I've already logged in. If you haven't logged in, well, no big deal. Just go ahead and sign up with Google or Discord. Once you log in, you have a few options. I'll show you just a few of their videos. Uh, this one here is just this really cool looking Lego movie style. Uh, looks pretty good to me. Let's click out of that one. And then here's another cool one here that I like. And then really, really interestingly, on the right side, you can see here that the actual prompt that was used to create this video is included as well as the seed and the ID number. So if you're familiar with Midjourney, you'll know that you can use the seed and the ID numbers to kind of repeat and create this type of style. So anyways, there you go. These are just a few really cool examples. The first thing you wanna do, however, if you wanna create a video from text, go ahead, click up here, just click on create video with text HD. It's kinda like create with text prompt. I don't know why they have them both here, but this is the one you want, click on that. And then down at the bottom, you're gonna see a pop-up and you're gonna see a whole bunch of different options pop up. Just keep in mind that whatever you describe in this little prompt here, we'll get, you'll get. So I'm gonna go English Bulldog, reading a book. And then, you know what? I'm gonna use one of their pre-built styles. I'm gonna use the cyberpunk one. And when I clicked on that, you'll see here it says cyberpunk style, high-tech city, mechanical en enhancement, yada, yada, yada. I'm gonna go ahead and click create. However, keep in mind that if this isn't correct, you can delete and add in as you see fit. I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. It's gonna take you into the creation mode screen, which is this one here. And you'll see here that it's queued up. And while I do that, you will notice here on the right side that I have gone ahead and made some previous generations. So if I just show you a couple of them here, you can see here, if I click play here, I've got this bulldog reading a book. And of course, this is also cyberpunkish. Um, limited motion in this one here. This is an old retro style one. So that's actually really good. Uh, looks like it's from the 60s. Yeah, it's a 60s style. So there you go. These are just a few examples. But anyways, I'm going to come back when this is done, show you what we got, then I'll show you how to animate your images as well. All right, welcome back here. So here's what we got here. We got this kind of slowish bulldog doing his thing, reading a book. Now, this is a very slow motion video by default. Reading is not an extremely animated activity, but of course you can go ahead and add in as you see fit. If you want to change that up, make it more, you know, active, go nuts. If you want to download this, all you need to do is hover over the down arrow with the bracket underneath it and presto, it will download it. You can share it as well. And then interestingly, if you want to regenerate this, let's say you, you like the video, but you maybe want to change its style and you want to re-roll it basically like an RPG, you can go ahead and click on regenerate. It will redo it. Uh, with the same input if you want to adjust it. So if you want to vary the prompt, like this one, this one here, this, instead of reading a book, maybe, uh, you know, you'd be running on a beach because that would maybe, you know, be a little bit more active, have a little more motion in it. I would just click on that and I hit enter and it goes ahead and does that. Now, while it is doing this, I want to show you one more thing here. Up at the top here, when I click on explore, you're also going to see animate your image HD. I'm going to click on this and this is interesting because now at the bottom, I can upload an image. So if I have an image that I want to use, let's say this one here of this uh, cyberpunk lady enjoying a beverage. Uh, I can now go ahead and animate this specific image, this image I made in mid journey. And now I want it to be animated. So I'm just going to go, you know, uh, attractive cyberpunk. I don't know, just whatever I want it to say. You know, drinking an energy drink. Okay, sure, something like that. And then I can just go ahead and click on create. And what's happening now is it's going to create both that video that I'm regenerating, you know, but instead of the bulldog, you know, reading a book, it's going to be running on a beach. And it's going to create that Im animated image. I'll come back when they're both done, then, it's, then we'll wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here we go. Here is the uh, attractive females having a drink here. I'll just hit play. And you'll see here, there's not a whole lot of motion in it, but there's a little bit. You see her head turn and she's lifting her glass. And then to be honest, the English bulldog running on a beach cyberpunk, I mean, this is not that good. So I would redo this. And I also did redo it. And this is the second one I got. And I mean, it looks like the dog's flying backwards. So again, 
not perfect, but keep in mind, free tool. So all it costs you is your time. Last thing I want to point out, however, is up at the top that you can, not yet, but one day, you're going to be able to extend your video. They are very limited right now. I believe two or three seconds is the maximum, but eventually this is going to come. And while this is not Sora or Sora AI, uh, you know what? At least this has shipped. So it's got that going in its favor. It's completely free. Give it a try. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.